You are now looking at the Kelly family. After years of worrying and pushing for answers, Ezra Kelly's parents learned he lives with Smith-Kingsmore syndrome, thanks to the team at the Duke Clinic, which is part of the Undiagnosed Diseases Network. And funding for research into conditions like Ezra's is now in jeopardy. WRO's Monica Casey has the story. Two weeks after Ezra Kelly was born, his parents noticed hyperpigmentation on his skin, but trips to different doctors couldn't find concrete answers. His first seizure happened at six months old. It was the most terrifying day of my life. When Nazira Kelly's husband, Eric, was transferred to Fort Bragg, the family applied to the Undiagnosed Diseases Network Clinic at Duke Health. Every day was just worry about what does the future hold? What 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 are what should we do? Doctors diagnosed Ezra with Smith Kingsmore syndrome and the Kellys found a support system of families in the same situation. When you shared your stories that they said, oh yeah, I do I totally understand because it was kind of a lonely journey before. Dr. Vandana Shashi at Duke Health says for these patients, a diagnosis means hope. They usually have been to multiple medical centers, have undergone many different procedures, many different clinical evaluations. Certified genetic counselor Rebecca Spillman tells me helping families find answers is life changing. This is probably the most rewarding uh, position I have had in my career. But success stories like Ezra's could become less common without continued funding from the National Institutes of Health. Spillman says that loss will create inequity. For patients who have really great private health insurance um, versus people who don't have those funds readily available to be able to pick up, take a week off of work. Dr. Shashi says it's not just the clinical work that sets the UDN apart, but the research. It is really the research that takes every patient's evaluation above and beyond what can already be done. Since its inception, the Undiagnosed Diseases Network has helped thousands of families uncovering almost 50 new disorders. The NIH funding runs out in 2024. Monica Casey, WRL News in Durham. The Duke is one of 12 clinics across the country in this network. Doctors say while they're still hoping NIH will continue funding, they're working on other pathways to keep the program going.